Okay, let's talk about radial arrays. We just did our our grid array or rectangular array, whatever you want to call it. So let's talk about radial arrays. Those are just as much fun. So I'm going to do my temporary construction plan like I usually do. Good habit to be in. It really does help you out. We're going to draw our feature kind of the same like we did last time. So I'll just make that, B to bevel it just a little bit, give it a little, a little more interest there. We're going to drag him up towards the top of that. Okay. And we'll create our part here. We just need a new body out of that. So B and right click to confirm. Let's get in there real quick and try to delete that curve. We don't need him anymore. And Alt, and there we go. We got the inside there. We're going to just do another chamfer. Don't go too far or it'll collapse on itself. All right, right click. G, move him in to where, to where we like. And then we'll come back out here. Right click to confirm. And we can go ahead and just take the temporary construction plane off. We don't need him anymore. And if you come down to radial array, which is down right next to rectangular array, click it, and it's going to ask for a center point. So I want the center point. Make sure I'm hitting the right one here. Any one of these will work. And it defaults to 8, just like previously. And we're going to bring it down to, yeah, 5 looks good. And then we'll right-click to confirm. Awesome. So now let's, uh, okay, we're selected on the main body and shift click all these. Boom, boom. And go ahead and do Q. And we are good to go. That is radial array.